I was planning on doing a live stream today, but then I remember college football was today. So, not going to happen. But what I am going to do is be talking about a video about how All In is tonight and my thoughts heading into All In. Now, if you guys remember, I made a video and I talked about how it, cool it was that All In sold out. I was just like saying this was such a cool premise. It was such a good idea. And yeah, you know, you got those wrestling fans that, you know, downplayed it, you know, pretty much just said, ah, it's not that big of a deal. The ticket scalpers, to me, no matter what, even with the ticket scalpers, I still think it's pretty cool that they were able to sell out a 10,000 seat venue, especially for an independent show, with really your biggest name being Cody freaking Rhodes. That's pretty much it. Like, Cody Rhodes and Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks were your biggest names, because they didn't even announce Rey Mysterio until after the tickets were out, before or afterwards. So it wasn't like Rey Mysterio helped bump tickets. No, they pretty much just announced Cody Rhodes, the Young Bucks, Bullet Club, all in Sears Center, let's go. So really, to be honest here, it was kind of impressive to see that show sell out. And quite frankly, as this show has been gained the hype and progression, and you know, this is, in my personal opinion, All In Tonight, it's probably one of the biggest shows in just wrestling, period. You know, I can't think about more fans' excitement since WrestleMania. Not even SummerSlam got the kind of hype that All In got. And All In has been getting hype and has been getting the build up. Uh, if you watch the Being the Elite, the All Us, all these YouTube venues and stuff like that. But yet, when I look at All In and I see it, I look at the card and I don't know, I just kind of feel disappointed. You know, I get it that, you know, they had to sell, they sold out the show and the Young Bucks and Cody feel like they're going to put need to put on a great show. And I understand that many fans. Once they see what the stage and the setup looks like and the atmosphere and they're going to hear the crowd go wild and the crowd may be into it for a lot of matches because, you know, this is not the WWE or like Impact Wrestling per se, where most of the fans, you know, yes, there's hardcore wrestling fans in the audience, but more casuals also go to those types of shows where sometimes the crowd can kind of be hit or miss because it's not like every parent is a wrestling fan. I can tell you from experience of going to many WWE events and also indie shows sometimes that a lot of parents aren't wrestling fans. They're taking their kid because their kid's a wrestling fan. I remember one time there was this dad. This guy was clearly not a wrestling fan. I, I, I This was no way out of 07. Clearly not a wrestling fan whatsoever. He did not understand King Booker. I had to explain to this guy how this guy was King Booker. He goes to me and goes, hey man, What's with this Keen Booker character? And I said, well, he used to be called Booker T. And all of a sudden, he won the King of the Ring, and then he became Keen Booker. And it was that simple. And the guy kept asking more questions. And that's what you'll see at a lot of WWE events, if you guys have been to them. Impact Wrestling events are kind of the same thing, where it's just like, hey, you know, maybe there's some wrestling fans out there, but a lot of times, maybe it's a kid wanting to take their parents to an event. All In is not going to be like a traditional wrestling event. It's going to be more hardcore fans. I'm pretty sure there's some families that are going that are hardcore wrestling fans. And that's pretty cool if you're a hardcore wrestling fan family. No problem with that. But what I'm saying is the crowd is going to be a little bit more lively than most 10,000 arena, sh uh, arena shows. This is going to feel like the Raw after WrestleMania crowds, the Raw after SummerSlam crowds. You know, just that hot crowd atmosphere. So that can help especially in some of the matches that are going to be lulling and kind of bleh and everything like that. And I'm pretty sure production is going to be something where it's like, you know, Cody Rhodes and the Young Bucks have never really produced a show on this level, and there might be some hiccups here or there. The thing is, though, All In, I understand that, and I get it, and I feel like some people, just by default, just because of the accomplishment of selling out the show, they're going to overrate the show. I understand it, and I get it. It's just human nature to sometimes overrate something that just seems so impossible in the first place. Here's four independent wrestlers when guys like me and other YouTubers come on here and try to say to you, no, it can't happen, wrestling's dying, blah, 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 and they prove us wrong. They're able to sell out a 10,000-seat arena. That's cool, and that's awesome. For me personally, I am going to be looking forward to the atmosphere, but I'm not going to let the atmosphere suck me in just because it's like, wow, I can't believe they did it. I'm going to let the atmosphere suck me in organically. If the matches are good, the matches are good. 
Really, to be honest, a lot of people ask me, Chase, what are the matches are you looking forward to for all in? I already can tell you. Omega versus Pentagon. Cero, Miedo. That's going to be a fucking tight match. They've only, like, touched, like, barely a few times in their lives. So this should be a good match. Looking forward to Joy Janela versus Adam Page. Uh, I think a lot of people still don't know who Joey Janela is. He's one of the better independent wrestlers, in my personal opinion. Now that Matt Riddle's gone off to WWE NXT, I think he's the king of the independents. I know a lot of people are going to be like, Chase, I don't know who Joey Janela is, so no, he's not the king of the independents. It's Kenny Omega. No, Joey Janela is the king of the independents. Kenny Omega signed to a major company. The king of the independents to me is someone that is not signed to one of the major companies, and they're making their rounds, and every time they make a round, they make that company watchable. That's what Matt Riddle did. That's what Shane Strickland did. Shane Strickland is a guy that's a contender for King of the Independence. But I feel Joey Janela right now is the King of the Independence. So you got Joey Janela versus Adam Page. That's going to be a good match. I feel Adam Page, even though I don't like that he tries to wrestle too much like a cruiserweight, he's still a fun guy to watch. And then, of course, I'm looking forward to Stephen Amell taking on Christopher Daniels. I like Cardi wrestling matches. I feel like Stephen Amell is someone that actually takes his matches seriously as an actor. Um, he does his own stunts on Arrow. I do like the Arrow TV show. Uh, Christopher Daniels is probably one of the best guys that you get to work with the dude. So, yeah, I'm down with it. The main event is the one match where I'm just kind of like, ugh. Like, no offense to Cody Rhodes and Nick Aldis. But, like, really, we're getting Cody Rhodes versus Magnus for the NWA World title. And for like a casual viewer that may be turning into this, they'll be like, man, I haven't seen that title since Christian in TNA. You know what I'm saying? It's not like the NWA title has been some featured belt throughout the years. Like a lot of people have like even said like, ah, it's lost some value. And, there, it, and it's kind of sad that All In has helped boost the value of that NWA championship. The over budget battle royal, I could care less about that because I know the loser of that, the winner of that's just going to lose to Jay Lethal, anyways. It's not like there's going to be a shocking title change at All In. Like, yeah, ROH is going to let their world champion lose their belt at All In. Yeah, maybe they are helping All In out a little bit. And that would be kind of a cool twist. I'd be down with it. I think that would help the show a lot. Is a shock title change. The Briscoes versus SCU. Nah, could not give a crap. Ooh. Just being honest with you there. Uh, the six-man tag dream match. Rey Mysterio, Phoenix, and I forgot the other dude. I'm so sorry. This is like 7 in the morning, and Khalil Mack just got traded to the Bears. So, like, my mind is in football. But versus the Young Bucks and Ibushi, that should be a fun little spot fest match. I'm just not a fan of spot fest matches, and the Young Bucks style is not really my cup of tea. If it's your cup of tea, sweet. Not my cup of tea, but it's going to be great to see Ray Ray on the show. Especially since Ray Ray is just in phenomenal shape. Better shape than he was like when he was on top in the WWE, to be honest. Like, this Ray Mysterio that's all gassed out. This guy should be our Universal Champion. Screw Roman Reigns, the big dog. Just get the belt to Ray Mysterio. Just have it where, like, Ray Mysterio comes back. Uh, does a 619 on all the Shield members. And then, like, does a frog splash on Braun Strowman. And then, like, pins all of them at once. And then he's a Universal Champion. I, I don't think anyone will complain. Maybe some fans will, but I wouldn't. I'd be cool with it. Uh, but, anyways, yeah, Rey Mysterio looking like a beast nowadays. Like, he's, he seriously looks awesome. Like, if you don't think Rey Mysterio looks awesome, like, you're just you're just a hater. But, yeah, honestly, and this show could have some good surprises, too. Uh, Pac, a.k.a. Neville. Neville's out with the, is out of the WWE contract. Uh, it doesn't seem like he has any restrictions. So, we might see a Pac appearance, which would be pretty cool. Uh, Punkers, CM Punk. Don't write him off just yet, maybe. I don't know if fans like him or hate him. I, I mean, he had a good turnout for someone that was hated for what he did to his good buddy, the tss, tss, Snake Coke Cabana. Um, pretty much, Punkers had a good turnout for his little pro wrestling team signing. Uh, maybe he's there tonight, maybe he's not. Who knows? And I don't think he's really needed for the show, but he would definitely be something that shoots the show like in the arm. Like That would be something that like wrestling fans would just be like, holy crap, I can't believe CM Punk is in the building type of gimmick. So that would be kind of cool as well. Um, I don't expect uh, uh, WWE to be okay with Kevin Owens making an appearance. If they weren't okay with Mickey James just supporting her freaking husband in a wrestling match that he most likely will lose, I don't think they're supporting Kevin Owens to make a hi guys, I'm here type of appearance. But if I were WWE, I would have been someone that tried to like 
get my name into this type of gimmick and try to get Kevin Owens a little bit over. But hey, what do I know? I'm just a wrestling fan. So I don't expect a Kevin Owens tonight. I know there's been some fun little fan rumors. And honestly, it would be cool if Kevin Owens could make an appearance. I just don't see it happening. Just overall, though, all in. To me, the card is kind of bleh. The atmosphere, I think, is going to be amazing. And just overall, I feel like it's going to be a fun night for wrestling fans. I'm not going to be able to watch it live, unfortunately. I'm turning off my cell phone because I do not want to be spoiled of any results whatsoever. Uh, shout out to New Japan World because I'm going to be watching it there via the archives right after and stuff like that. Once I get off work, uh, if Alabama game wasn't as interesting as I thought it would be, I'm going to be watching All In on New Japan World and everything like that. Hey, I pay for New Japan World, so I feel like I should be able to watch it on New Japan World. And everything like that. And plus funds are really tight for me at this time of the month. I ain't going to lie about that. School just started up. So those college, that college, man, they don't care. They don't care what day it is. They take money on my account and it's <laughs> it's not fun. But yeah, I think All In is going to be a fun show tonight. And hopefully it'll deliver on what wrestling fans are expecting. I'm just expecting a good atmosphere. A very surprising show. A card that doesn't look like it's worth a damn. But I think it could actually surprise and do some do some good good business. That's how I feel about All In 2018. And furthermore, moving forward, what do you guys think about All In? Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Are you excited? Are you not excited? It's okay to not be excited. I know people who aren't excited for it, and I could I could agree with the card. The card's not really the best card in the world. But yeah, let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, give this video a big old thumbs up. Follow me on Twitter at ChaseOliver68. I'll see you guys next time. For the next video yeah there's no outro for these videos i don't i don't know what to say for these videos wwe videos we get the brock lesnar the yahoo i don't know what to do for these videos